Hi guys, welcome back. It's Tracy with TR's Tarot Talk 1111. I am here to do the zodiac sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in all cross watchers. If you are a cross watcher, please remember that spirit knows who's watching and they could very well play out from your own energetic standpoint. Okay guys, I uploaded this month's channeled message from spirit. Um, it's automatic writing and it was pretty profound so if you haven't had an opportunity to watch it you are missing out and I'm not just saying that to get views because quite frankly I don't care I'm on mission that's all that matters to me but I'm telling you it's profound the, the message spirit gave me is know yourself okay if God is everything and everything is God if God is the alpha the omega the beginning the middle the end everything that was is and ever shall be what does that make you and once you know that you are a creator being from a create you are a creator race and a creator being from creative source original source right so you are the inheritor of all that magic and so what do creators do but they create right so once you know thyself know who you are know what you're capable of know that you have this magical power of manifestation just by focusing your intention and attention attention on what you desire if it is the, the highest and best for all involved right first do no harm but if it is not harmful to anyone else, you can manifest anything. And that was shown very clearly to me. And I can't wait to play with that energy. So Spirit, you know, really gave you a good, good, good channeled message this time. It's an hour long, but it is worth every minute of your time. You should really go and watch it. Okay. And if you don't, don't blame me because I'm going to have fun with it. All right. So um, this whole theme this month. Spirit said, I'm not supposed to do any predictions or tarot for you. This month is simply you guys practicing what you've learned. So if you've been activated on the ascension path, if you have been purging, if you've been expanding and growing and recognizing red flags and doing inner childhood wounding um, work shadow work if you've really worked hard and you've learned some tough lessons it's now time to go from being the initiate to the adept and so the only way you can become adept at anything is practice makes perfect so spirit wants you to spend this next lunar cycle practicing what you've been taught and you will probably be given many opportunities. So don't be surprised if you get triggered because the whole idea is to teach you how to recognize a trigger, how to find your balance much faster than you ever have before, and how to um, do some healing around that, right? It's like when you've been triggered, you, you drop it in a box and say, well, that one's because of jealousy. And I've understood how to handle that so now I'm going to apply that right so how can you practice to become adept using all of the newfound tools that you have right all the clairs clairsentience clairaudience clairvoyance um what am I missing you know clear sight hearing sensing and knowing my kitties always want to play when I'm doing videos starting to get dark you're probably the last sign before i have to turn some lights on here okay so capricorn uh here is your guidance on the things that you should be working on practicing you know lessons that spirit has already put on your radar and given you all the tools you need go watch the channeled message guys okay powerful conscious if you want to be a powerful conscious, not unconscious, not creating chaos, but a powerful conscious creator, co-creating with the divine, your highest and best life, you want to go watch the channeled message, okay? So, Spirit, what does Capricorn need to practice to become adept at? 
Ooh, we have a fiery climax approaches, full moon in Aries. So this could be one of the triggers that's coming for you. Something's going to come to a, a, a head, right? I always think of like a, a, a volcano erupting or um, it's gross, but like a boil, right? Something that, that's been under the surface that needs to come to the top. So you're going to be triggered probably um, to look at some more shadow work that's still beneath the surface and is going to rise to the top for you to clear it, to do some more healing work around it. Full moon in Aries. Then we have surrender comparisons with other people. Keep your eyes trained on yourself. Focus on your own strengths, attractiveness, and power. So if jealousy or comparing yourself to others, or allowing others to compare you to others. If that's something that has been a trigger or issue for you, um, and you've been given the tools and the recognition around that, you can practice surrendering that during these next 30 days when the opportunity arises, and it will, okay? Surrender to your intuition. Tune into your inner voice. Be aware of any gut feelings, flashes of knowing, or aha moments that come through to guide you. Because see, you're becoming the adept. The adept. So you've got to, to take all those new um, tools and those new gifts, you know. Or maybe they aren't new, but they're stronger. You need to trust them. And you need to apply them. Practice using them. Then we have surrender to spirit. Once you've done everything you can to achieve a goal, turn the situation over to the divine. Let spirit work its magic for you. Okay, so I use this analogy many, many times. So if you're not new to my channel, you probably recognize it. But, you know, spirit, a lot of magic happens without our control right like our heart beats without us telling it to and our lungs breathe without us telling it to and if you're a farmer and you plant your crop you can't go out there every day and dig the seeds up to see if spirits taking care of the the process that happens underground right no you need to go take care of the animals you need to go bale hay you need to muck the barn you need to you know there's stuff that needs tending to but that particular thing is now in the hands or should be in the hands of spirit so surrender practice releasing the control once you have done all the steps of creating it be like that three of wands wait waiting at the seashore for your ship to come in you see that guy that's standing there he's not hoping his ship comes in he knows it's coming in because he knows himself he knows that he is capable of putting an order in and getting it to who it needs to get to clearly communicating that's gemini energy right to himself to the person he's ordering from and to the divine that ship's on its way and that's what you need to practice is the trust, the knowing it's on its way. All right, surrender procrastination. Now is the time to jump on a goal instead of putting it off. Taking action will attract success. So where have you been procrastinating? You know, trusting your intuition, spirit's telling you that um, you know what you know. Time to practice what you know, putting it to use. Don't procrastinate. Then we have ask. Ask us to help you in this situation, and we will immediately go to work on your behalf. See, trust spirit. We're governed by many universal laws, and among them is the free will that allows you to make your own choices and decisions. So we patiently await your request. See, spirit can't help you if you don't give them permission to. And you are a powerful conscious creator, and you have free will. So if you need help, don't be afraid to ask. Then we have time to go. You know, with that surrender procrastination and things coming to a fiery climax, maybe you've been stuck somewhere 
and procrastinating on should I stay or should I go now? I'm getting that for you. So spirit says time to go. The sun sets and rises each day and it's the same with the avenues in your life. See the beauty within each sunset in your life and know that the sun will also rise again tomorrow. Endings are merely the start of a new beginning and we're with you through each phase and cycle. So last moon, the new moon or full moon, super moon uh, in Scorpio was all about letting things go, right? It was spirit was going to pull it out of your grubby little fingers if you weren't willing to release it. So if you're still procrastinating, surrendering things up to spirit, know that that shit's coming to a climax and possibly a fiery one. Trust your intuition. If your intuition says it's time to go, it's time to go. And if you need clarity, ask because clarity will be given. Then we have opportunity to forgive. This situation brings you the opportunity to heal, grow, and release negative patterns. See, there's something you're holding on to. Hold the intention of seeing the other person's inner divine light and goodness. Because everybody has it, guys. Whether it's hard to see or not. We will help you release unforgiving thoughts, feelings, and energies and lift you to a higher place of peace and compassion. See, I really feel like you're being guided to release something and let it go. And, and I think you know it. I think your intuition has already told you it's time. But for whatever reason, you're, there's a fear around change for you and spirit saying it's time. It's coming to a head. If you don't take care of it, they will. And you're going to get practice on using these new tools. Then we have Indriel. You are a light worker. God needs you to shine divine light and love like an angel upon the earth and all of its inhabitants. So if you've been putting off your mission work because of fear around change or fear around losing a friend or a family member or or, you know, because Jesus said he couldn't teach in his hometown because people always would think of him as the carpenter's son and never recognize him for the teacher and, and the ascended master that he was. So, you know, if you've been putting off your calling or your abilities because you have a fear around losing friends, family, or or situations, then it's time for you to release that and ask for guidance. Practice makes perfect. Shanti, I am the angel of peace. I bring you new tranquility and a smoother road ahead. Pardon me. So that's just confirmation that spirit's got your back, right? And when you step into your full power, see this uh, lion down here? When you really, really own your own personal power and your gifts and your intuition and your mission work, Spirit's going to divinely support you and peace will be had. A smoother road ahead. Patience. Now is the time to learn, study, and gather information. Enjoy being a student because in the future, you will synthesize your knowledge into action. I'm hearing that part of your mission work is you've been the initiate. Now you're becoming the adept and soon you're going to become the teacher, right? Or, or yeah, the master. So you need to trust your intuition. There's a lot of advice here around trusting your intuition and trusting spirit. Get down. We have Star Mother. Okay, so these cards here are for my light workers or ground crew or anybody that resonates with mission work and you do have a mission so if you don't feel like you're a mission worker you're not listening to your intuition and you're not surrendering to spirit okay so that's you're going to get practice around that so star mother how can you mother yourself because maybe just maybe um you need that, right? The inner child within you needs to be nurtured and loved and cared for and healed. Then we have get grounded. Empaths, highly sensitives, connect with nature. So spirit's telling you that whatever you're procrastinating, whatever your gut's telling you you need to do, and you've been off balance, you've been ungrounded, you've been not asking spirit for clear guidance spirit says you need to get grounded because you're very sensitive you are an empath and connecting with nature will actually help you look she's meditating 
It will actually help you to connect with divine source, and you need to practice that. So then we have deep replenishment, retreat, rest, and be held. So you need to mother yourself, self-care, self-nurturing, deep replenishment, retreat, rest, and be held, get grounded. That's for the light workers. If you've been really off balance and a lot, you've maybe you've gotten a lot of downloads, a lot of new lessons, a lot of triggers, a lot of shadow work, a lot of growth. Spirit's saying it's okay to take a breath, right? But don't procrastinate on your practicing what you've learned, okay? So this new deck is called the Archetype Cards by Carolyn Mess. And I set my intention. It has a shadow attribute and a light attribute. So I set my intentions that what areas do you still have shadow work to bring to the light or practice with? Maybe you've already done healing around it and you've already brought it to the surface, brought it to light, even though I feel like something else is coming to the surface. Uh, so you have the Avenger resorting to violence in the name of a cause. Okay, you can't be so self-righteous and believe that you are so right that you cause harm to others. There are people out there that will blow up buildings because they don't believe in what they stand for. And it and they don't care who gets caught in the crossfire. And with that fiery climax, you know, if you guys are angry about something, if you're not working on your light attribute around being a savior, an avenger, a knight in shining armor, then, you know, you need to practice trusting your intuition and asking spirit for help to ground you and to nurture you. So the light attribute is desiring to balance the scales of justice righteously and on behalf of society or oneself. Okay, the highest and best for all. Then we have lover. Okay, so the shadow attribute about around this that you're going to practice, right? You're going to practice bringing the shadows into the light is obsessive passion that harms others, self-destructive devotion. So if you're devoted to a person or a cause to the detriment of others or yourself, you're going to need to practice how to balance that shit out and trust your intuition, trust spirit. So the light attribute is great passion and devotion unbridled appreciation of someone or something unconditional love guys it's taking that codependence that uh controlling kind of love or controlling kind of passion and turning it into something more balanced through non-judgment non pro um what's the word i'm looking for without projecting it onto others, right? Without feeling so justified in your anger that you do something that's not for the highest and best of all. Next, we have father. See, now you've got the mother and the father. So if you've been raised in a home where there was an imbalance between divine masculine, divine feminine energies, no matter what it is, spirit's going to help you with that. So the shadow attribute is being a dictator or controlling abuse of your authority. So bringing that into the light attribute means using your talent for creating and supporting life. Positive guiding light within a tribal unit. Be a good dad. If you're a man and you're watching this, be a good dad. If you never had a good dad, be a good dad for yourself, right? Nurture that inner child. Look at your ancestral patterning. How did your parents treat you? There's a healing there. All right, now take a moment and ask a yes or no question because it's getting dark and I want to be able to um, get this done before I have to get up and change, or uh, turn the light on. Sorry, I thought I heard my phone ding. It might have been my son's in there. All right, so ask a yes or no question. Capricorns, what do you need to know? Mm, not for you. And there's something here coming to a climat climatic end. And you're being asked to let go. It could be a lover. Could be. It could be childhood trauma around a mother and a father that is the energy that is coming between you and your divine counterpart. Right? You might be in a karmic relationship 
and it's a lesson that you're learning. It's not for you. Whatever you asked. Then you have success. <laughs> How's that for contradictory? So success, you're going to get past this. Whatever this is, Spirit saying, you're going to succeed. It's just you have you need more practice. You need to take the tools and the things that you've learned and put them into a practical plan. And let go. That's the second time you've had let go. Let go. Let go. Let go. Then you have big happy changes. See, when you let go control, I just feel control around you. Like possibly as a child, somebody was controlling. They, they didn't let you, you know, it, it could have been out of love. It doesn't have to be out of an, or animosity. It could have been, you know, a nagging mother, a, a hel, what do they call it? Helicopter parent or whatever that follows you around and always worried for your well-being and doesn't give you any freedom to move around because they're afraid of harm coming to you. You'll know. Maybe they were narcissistic. Maybe they were abusive. But when you let go and you heal your inner childhood wounds and you apply it in your life, spirit says whatever is not for you and you let go of it, then you're going to find your success and big happy changes are coming. All right, for twin flame, sacred soulmates, ascension partners, or just Capricorns in love, or even in a karmic relationship, what do they need to know, Spirit, for practicing their new found abilities? They're uh, becoming adept at being the initiate. We have passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. I feel like you've been stifled, controlled. Right? And Spirit's saying something new is coming for you. Big happy changes. And you're going to be allowed to, to open your heart and, and soul and let it sing with joy. We have wedding. The situation involves marriage. I'm really feeling for some of you that you're in a karmic relationship and it's not a healthy situation. And you know it. And you've been procrastinating. And Spirit's saying, um, trust the divine. Surrender it to us. Let it go. Right? It might be time to move on. For others of you, you know, this could be, it could be your spouse that you're having trouble balancing with or they could be controlling, right? Yeah, I don't feel like marriage is on the, on the horizon, not with the energy I see here. So I feel it's more of a karmic relationship. Yeah, because then we have free yourself. You've got let go twice and free yourself. See, this magical unicorn is in this penned up gate and it cannot be magical know thyself right you are better than where you've allowed yourself to be kept and controlled it's time to take back control of your own life and then we have soulmate yes this is your soulmate so you know i feel like something better is coming for you big time once you release something that's not for you what is for you is going to come galloping in and maybe already has. You might have met somebody else and now you're stuck in a third way, three, three party situation, right? So take it as it resonates, guys. If you're a twin flame and you're in a karmic relationship or your person is, they're not for you. They're not for them. There needs to be adjustments here. And something's going to come to a fiery climax. So, you know, endings that need to happen. All right, so now we have Messages of Love Oracle Cards by All Things Intuitive, who is another YouTube reader. We have Second Chance. This relationship deserves a second chance. So for some of you, somebody from your past has come back and activated you on your twin flame journey, and you might have already been in a karmic relationship with somebody else. Or you can flip that script the other way around, right? It's your person who um, is in a karmic relationship or a marriage or a third party situation needs to let go, needs to free themselves because it's not for them, right? Not for you. Wow. Second chance. So somebody gets a second chance and somebody don't. That's what I'm getting. And then we have regret. Someone feels remorse for the way they treated you. And you are going to know who this is, okay? Then we have interference. That could be your parents. That could be your spouse. That could be your person. You know, somebody's feeling regret and remorse for the way you were treated. Interference, an external party. See, there's that third party situation. I'm feeling it, guys. Interference, an external party is intruding on this relationship. 
whether that's you or them, you'll know. Balance. One person is giving too much in this relationship. I feel like that's the person that's married or in the third party situation. They keep giving and giving and giving because they're afraid of failure. They're afraid of people judging them because their marriage or their situation or their friendship or whatever it is didn't work out. And they're afraid of judgment and they're afraid of change, right? They're afraid of having regrets too. They, they keep giving second chances and that they're giving too much to this person in relationship. Okay, so the last message I have for you is this postcard from Spirit. I drew it for Gemini on camera and um, it was so on par with the channeled message that I just had to share it with everybody. And it's been like that for a couple of lunar cycles now. These guys, this Postcard from Spirit by Colette Baron reed has been profoundly on par. So I'm going to read it to you. Dearest you, on earth humans learn about life by telling stories and creating new ones based on shared experiences. Eventually, excuse me, after repeating one often enough, it becomes your main story that you use to define yourself and the world. So to get the answers you seek, you must get vulnerable and hear your story when you tell it. Ask, why do you tell it? Is it really true? What else could be true? Can you see the truth that spirit is in all people and all things? Do you see how other stories overlap and intertwine with yours? Because you're in vibrational alignment with it, right? Whether it's good vibration or bad. Um, your stories will overlap and intertwine. You, you attract to you those who um, validate your beliefs. So spirit loves stories, for they are like blueprints for co-creation, which is what this whole moon is about. So tell the one we know to be true about you, a story of courage, gratitude, and honesty. Tell an empowered story about well-being, wisdom, and grace. You will experience your world according to to the story you tell about it. So make sure your story is one you can be proud of or one that is in energetic alignment with who you are trying to create for yourself, the life you're trying to create for yourself. Okay, Capricorns, I love you. If you would like your own personal private reading, please don't be afraid to reach out because it is... Um, come, it, right now we're in retrograde season and then we're coming up on... Um, the eclipse season and, and energies are going to be really profoundly strong so if you need help if you're stuck and you need help to find clarity or to find the door right because sometimes the door is right there and you just can't see it if you need help reach out i'm here to help you it's my mission work and there are all kinds of options available below all affordabilities okay so i love you guys i will see you i i always upload on the new moon the full moon i do a channeled message on each lunar cycle i do a twin flame reading in between the lunar cycles and i usually do a pick apart reading for messages and guidance from spirit so i love you and i will catch you the next time i am called to the table namaste